mock tests let's talk about GRE mock tests which ones should you take which ones should you stay away from okay now there's a lot of mock tests on the internet which are free a lot of them which are paid again a lot of them which are also given out by ETS so which one should you take which one should you not take we're gonna dive deep into that in this video now let me actually show you these are the you know mock tests that I have taken and these are how my scores progress so when I began I was somewhere near, near 315 and then I progressed from there towards a 330 right it's more like 329 to be exact but right kind of like you know 329 so it's, it's it's been like an increase of 15 points let me actually tell you when I was you know it's really important to know how to use the mock test okay and when you are preparing what I suggest you should do is every single uh, week I would suggest you know if, if depends on your preparation time really but most people who are preparing over here are preparing for one or two months what I would suggest is every single week even during your preparation I know at the end you will do a lot of mock tests I know everyone knows that but during your preparation keep doing the mock test even before you start your preparation keep doing mock tests all right do one mock test before you even start the preparation now what that's going to do for you is that's going to help you keep track of things that all right this is where I'm going wrong all right and my scores are really low on the verbal or my scores are really low on the quant and this is where I need to focus more on all right so you can see a lot of tests over here I've taken a lot of Kaplan ones a lot of Princeton ones a lot of Manhattan ones uh, there's crunch test there's EDS there's there's a whole lot more I've actually taken more of them uh, which are not even mentioned over here but those were so bad that I didn't even feel like mentioning them I never even completed them like you know some of them were so bad so it's important that you stick to the ones that are accurate that predict your scores accurately and I'll tell you how you can use those scores how you can really use those results to actually get a better score on the next mock test or really improve your GRE score right it's really important to use these tests right once you finish the test you need to analyze these tests and doing your analysis how you do the analysis it's really it's it, the analysis is a gold mine so if you can do it perfectly well you will see your scores go up if you don't really do the analysis you're just not you know receiving inputs back in so it's you know how it is right you uh, even when you study control systems or something you perform you give it an input you get the outputs but then you have a feedback mechanism so it's important to have that feedback mechanism so that everything that you're doing wrong can be fixed at the inputs the the end of the input really all right and if you can do that it will really boost up your scores I am 100% sure I don't see how that doesn't happen in anyone's case if I can do it you can do it very easily all right so let's just quickly get into the best mock tests and I'll tell you how to use them next okay so the first mock test that you want to take a look at which are super super important and you must have these okay I, I don't think there's any way you get around these because they're that good okay and these are the Manhattan mock tests okay this is the Manhattan mock testing account and they give you one test for free and the uh, basically the account has a total of six tests okay so this is a premium account you can basically take the accounts in a cyclic order they come on in a cyclic order okay but uh, the way you actually get them is from Manhattan either for fifty dollars or I'll tell you how you can get it cheaper later on okay but the way that these tests help you best is because they are a little harder okay and for those of you who are aiming for a score over 320 or over 315 you're gonna face a really hard GRE section that is going to be you know because the GRE is ad adaptive so you're gonna face a lot of questions which are super super hard at times and it's kind of you know like you don't have the time to get through the section so this is what the uh, the Manhattan prep testing account will get you familiar with because uh, the way that it works over here is that they give you the test which are a little harder okay and if you are going to do well on the test you're gonna face those sections on the test all right on the actual GRE because it's an adaptive exam so you will potentially face some some of these sections and you will need to know you know how to manage your time with hard questions how to actually you know get through the test so I think the uh, Manhattan test is actually a really good testing set and you should definitely go for it do not skip it again it's only six tests so all you need to do is you know take one test every few days and even within one month you can easily finish this account okay you don't need to keep it with you okay the next thing that you can uh, but but there's one downside over here by the way 
all it does is it offers you an evaluation so basically all you can do is over here you can check your scores you can evaluate and their evaluation is not that good they don't offer you analytics or anything of that sort so that's one downside of using this account you won't be able to track your weaker areas so well so what i usually prefer to do in that case is go on for the kaplan account okay it gives you five practice tests all right these are four and you can also uh, do one over here that's a diagnostic exam so that's five practice tests that you need to do in the Kaplan account and these are actually very close to the well they're actually not very close to the GRE they're a little easier but the scores that you get from these exams the testing scores that you get they are very close to your actual score on the GRE okay so their scoring metric is super good the questions might be a little on the easier side but not not very easy but you know just a little on the easier side so it's still super super worth doing this account you know buying this account and uh, getting to work with these questions because let me actually tell you what else it offers okay once you finish the exam you will see that the analytics in these exams are really good and you can actually you know tra uh, track where you're going wrong so if you go on to review you'll be able to see exactly where you're going wrong and all these uh, basically the question types and everything and that kind of helps you garner that all right maybe my data interpretation is not that good yet so i need to practice more on that and i'll tell you how you can do that again with the help of a kplan account okay the kplan account can actually help you with that as well the only downside to using this account is it's a little slower so as you can see over here it's still loading and it does take a couple of minutes to actually you know load when you start the practice test or you start the review the internet i'm using here is kind of slow so maybe i can blame that but not 100 percent okay so till, till it loads i'll tell you to uh, i'll tell you how you can actually improve with the help of this account okay so even when you go into the quantitative sections or the okay i open up the text completion i believe all right so uh, for the text completion you see a practice test over here so you can actually do a practice test which has all the text completion questions and it'll give you a real-time text testing experience all right even for the quantitative you'll have a lot of you know practice set, set one practice set two so they will actually help you get uh, you know just do the practice test under a timed environment so you won't really have to kind of you know start a whole test for that but you can actually just go ahead and do the practice section for a quant or a verbal section according to your needs but alright this is where I am not doing so well maybe I'll just start practice test over there okay the one other thing that you have in this account is the question bank okay and this question bank is actually what makes the whole account and the whole experience worth it so once you find out that alright this is where I'm going wrong let's say you know in the verbal reasoning section or uh, let's say in the quantitative reasoning section that all right this is where i'm going wrong you know my data interpretation is very weak as you can see over here i got like all three of them wrong so the the way you can now fix it is if you go onto the question bank and it lets you select the topics that you need the questions from okay so i'll select uh, again like i said it takes a little bit of time it's a slow account that's all there is to it but all you have to do is you have to select these in the time mode or untimed mode and then you can select the difficulty and then you can select the topic okay so that's one thing you can do over here which will actually boost up your score by a lot okay so let's say that my data interpretation is not very strong what i'll do is i'll go on over here i'll select the data interpretation okay i'll select all kinds of difficulties okay and what i'll do first is i'll go into the untimed mode okay i'll go into the untimed mode and then i'll calculate the number of questions available they say 64 unused questions okay so in that case what i can do is i can create you know sets of 20 so 20 questions i want to do in an untimed environment and i want to make sure that all right within the untimed environment i'm able to get most of them correct okay that's how you actually improve when you when you are able to improve a lot on the untimed environment then you again select the time mode and you do 20 more questions so that's really how you want to go about this um Kplan account you go on do the practice test you find out your weaker areas and you go into the question bank and you start doing more of those questions okay again this is a huge huge thing i'm telling you because this is like one of the strategies that we don't really give out but i believe that if you actually start doing this like this is what i did and if you actually start doing this you will see that it creates a lot of difference within a very small time period okay so apart from that the cable account is great it's a little slow but it gives you access to five great great tests okay the scoring metric is super accurate again the ets tests are of course the best and they're super close but they only give you like two mock tests all right so if you're wondering why i haven't put in the ets tests in this video i am talking about them the only thing is that they only give you two tests and i already know that you're going to take them anyway so they are free anyway you don't have to pay for them but uh you know if you need more mock tests well these are the ones that you should go for these are cheaper and these are much much 
better okay so if you are talking about improving at least you know their 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 analytics and all of these things first off the analytics are super important you need to understand that you know this is where you're going wrong this is your weak area right and that's why where these accounts coming to the picture okay and apart from that you need to be familiar with all the different types of questions there can be so when you move on from manhattan to capelin you will see that the questions are a little bit different okay because the creators of the tests are a little different so that's why and i think that's a great great thing it kind of prepares you for anything that you can see on the test okay finally we'll go on to the princeton review practice testing account over here you can see it gives you access to four tests and this account is actually the best when you look at the analytics let me tell you two things about the princeton account that you will not find in any other account let me actually close this one i don't know why i started the test i want to start the test it's not slow first off and secondly it well basically uh, the one thing that it does really well is it gives you super good analytics so over here you can see the analytics that it, it's going to tell you that all right this is where you're going wrong these are your weaker areas and everything so it's already doing all of that for you you don't have to do anything okay the second thing is it also gives you access to an experimental section so it's like exactly the same length as the test all right so when you when you take the test you know that you are going to face an experimental section right and no other mock test series will give you access to an experimental section only princeton will so these four tests are super good one more thing that princeton actually does super well is that they grade your analytical writing right now when you take the test after a few hours you'll see that your analytical writing section has been graded for you and that's i think a huge huge like they're really accurate i believe it's not that they are, you know, they don't know what you're doing. The algorithm that they've built, it's super accurate and you will find that it is actually one of the uh, best resources to actually, you know, kind of practice analytical writing and see where you stand, okay? So I believe the Princeton account is very good in that case. It gives you access to, again, four tests and all the analytics and all of these things you can find out. Again, the one thing that's not good for is that it won't really give you access to any other resources it's just the test right so both in the case of manhattan and princeton so you can see how there's pros and cons in every account the capelin one gives you access to an amazing question bank that will actually help you improve a lot and also the tests of course and also some verbal and quantitative reasoning sections in the case of the princeton account you get super good analytics and it's crazy how uh, you know and by the way their scoring is super good they they do you know score you pretty accurately so whatever scores you get over here that's a reflection of what what you're getting on the test it's it's actually super accurate okay finally the manhattan account is also good the only thing that you get from these tests is that they are absolutely crucial for stuff because they prepare you for those harder sections on the test and i believe that's something that you need to be prepared for all right so again uh, these are the best tests that i believe you should take apart from the ets tests of course these are the best mock tests for the gre and the way that you actually want to take them is you know kind of keep mixing them you know uh, someday you do a princeton one the next day you're doing a capelin one next year you're doing a manhattan one so keep it mixed keep it you know uh, as as mixed as you can because you need to be familiar with all of the concepts so you know basically different test maker makers will test you on different concepts and that's just how it is right so finally what i want you to do is make sure that you have these tests and in case you want to buy these tests what you can do is you can sign up on biomgrad.com and you will get access to all of those tests this is the website that we have built for you all you have to do over here is you go onto the sign up uh, sign up page over here i'm already logged in so it's not showing you the link you go into the sign up page you log in and you you get an email also with free material and of course after that you can also get the premium material at a very discounted price you don't have to pay 50 dollars for the manhattan for instance you can only pay 30 so it's it's like that and it helps you out and you know, it's really easy right apart from that you get access to a lot of things about the universities the average scores and all of that so that's of course one more thing that you get uh just with the website right so i'm happy that you watched this video to the end again follow the advice keep doing the mock tests don't skip skip on them keep doing as many as you can you can see over here on my mock testing uh series i did like um, let me see 20 mock tests around 20 mock tests right and I did a, a few more but 20 is a good number right so I'm not saying that do all of those but if you if you can do even 10 to 15 mock tests that's really good for you okay and follow the advice uh, you know don't go ahead looking for more mock test videos and these are the best mock tests I'm telling you about them 
already. Right? If you need a link to Vimegrad, you'll find that in the description. You can just go on over there, sign up, you can get all the materials from over there. Okay? Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. If you need to contact me, there's my Instagram again and I'll be happy to help you with that. Okay? See you.